All right, the last part of this section is the concept of a weighted mean. A weighted mean we actually saw before when we talked about an average daily balance. If you recall, uh, in an average daily balance, we used it to compute the finance charge uh, for a credit card. And as we noted that for a balance that was there longer, it carried more weight than uh, a balance that was there for a shorter period of time. So for instance, if you bought something very expensive uh, at the beginning of the month, it actually makes your finance charge larger than if you bought something very expensive at the end of the month, assuming that your cycle, uh, billing cycle begins at the beginning of the month. Same idea for a general weighted mean. You might see a weighted mean, or you will, would see a weighted mean when you compute a semester's GPA or an entire um, student's GPA for their entire college experience. Also, some of your classes might be have a weighted grade. For instance, it might say something like your tests are 40% of the grade and the finals 20% of the grade, so on and so forth. So uh, the tests score would be carrying a higher weight than the uh, final score, for example. So uh, in the last video for the section, we just do uh, figuring out a GPA. You, so please watch Finding the Weighted Mean.